Hello, my name is Luke Darricott and welcome to The Wine Sessions, a series of videos where I get a little bit drunk with my friend Debbie Musgrove. Uh, we discuss a regional Spanish wine and answer any Spain-based questions from our viewers. So today we're going to look at the region of... Toro. Toro is about two and a half, half hours north. Yeah, northwest or something. I'll put a graphic on the screen now. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to open these. Yeah. So my one is called Prima. And it's from the Mal Rodos Bodega. And the one I'm opening is the Cyan Roble from the Cyan Bodega. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite black currenty. It it's quite spicy. <laughs> words, just words. <laughs> so mine, oh look, mine is 90% Tinta de Toro, which is another name for Tempranillo. 10% Garnacha, so it's a blend. 14 months in oak barrels. It's 100% Tinta de Toro, Tempranillo, mm. and it's only had four months in a barrel. Have you got any tapas here? <laughs> yeah, good. <coughs> Spain's got a lot of wine, 67 regions-ish, mm -hmm. and it's really cheap to drink around them. So, I'm a functioning alcoholic, I think, here. Um, Toro's quite a young buck, and they're <laughs> kind of characterised by this. They're bloody strong, yeah. boozy, then they're, they're not French wines. No. They're not elegant. They're like they're Spanish or through and through. I, I want a steak right now. This is nice. It's yeah. a very good wine. <laughs> Arguably, I'm not doing it justice by necking it like, a, <laughs> like some guy under a bridge. <laughs> well, it's mine's a bit more. A bit. It's, it's smoother. It's easier to drink. And well, it's hundred and ten It's Usually my favourite. Question time. Yeah. Time to answer the viewers' questions. The first question we have comes from my friend Jack. Do you think a nice restaurant serving British classics yeah. could do well in Madrid? You'd have to go for places like Malasagna. Malasagna is an area of Madrid where all the hipsters live. And where the hipsters live, you have the new trends. The new trends filter through to like the, the nouveau riche and then they filter down to everyone else. So. What are we? We're immigrants, technically. <laughs> Neither of us are hipsters though, neither of us are hipsters. I'm a hipster, I have a shirt with dogs with moustaches on. Okay. I think in a, in a place like that it would do really well. Because there would be people who would actually be interested in exploring other cultures in hopes of having that new edge on everyone else who hasn't quite got there yet. And arguably that's a lot of Spanish people. So the answer is, we reckon yeah. Yeah, my first question is from Ryan Colt and is... I love Ryan! What is the most overrated Spanish food? <laughs> Begins with P. Paella. <laughs> I've been in the home of paella and I don't care that much. Right. As in, I mean the classic paella, the dry one, and I'm, I'm referring to the seafood one, mm -hmm. which everyone knows. And it's just like, eh, it's all right. I completely agree. This one comes from Guillomar. What do you think we, as Spaniards, are most proud of about our country? I would say the country itself. Yes. Do we have the same one? I was going to say the fact that they are Spanish. Being Spanish. Yes. Mark Tittle from... from oh, sorry. Mark Tittle, the best name ever. Does age matter when it comes to wine? Oof. Mr. Tittle. No, doesn't matter. I don't think so either. The idea of aging is is often considered like the the, the older it is, the better it is. Mm. No, the older it is, the 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 different kind of aspect that taste would have. You know, if it's older, it will taste different. It will. Does that make them better? No. Does that make them worse? No. It makes them different. Cheers. Yeah. Well, we've done too many of those. Just yeah. trying. From James, if I were to bathe in a particular wine from yeah. Spain, which one would you recommend? Well, I think this is a really interesting question because... Really? Yes. They've been starting spa treatments 
which are based on wine. For X amount of money, you bathe in a bath of wine. So, what I would say, if I were to bathe in wine, it would have to be something that had a high antioxidant content. <laughs> because that's good for your skin. It contains sulfites. That's probably not great. No. And something that would be quite tasty if you had a glass in there just to scoop it up. If you were to bathe in a bath full of wine, mm -hmm. you're a dick. <laughs> no wine, because I'm not a penis. Wine is a drink. It's a drink, I'm pretty sure, it's in a glass here, it's a drink. And not only that, this is a drink which people have been working to produce, and have been producing in their fields. I'm going to stop there. You're not going to stop me there. I know, I'm going to counteract that. Counteract. Because Cleopatra bathed in milk. Is she still alive? No. No, but that's a Wait. drink that people work to produce. I'm going to stop you there. Does milk get you drunk? No. Moving on. Um, our next question comes from Tina, my mother, in London. I saw a leg of ham, a Serrano, for £30 in a UK supermarket. Is it going to be any good? Nope. What would you give your wine out of 10? I'd give it uh, a solid 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> Generous. Yes. I would give the Prima 2012 7.5 out of 10. My mouth is as big as yours. <sighs> Done. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, write them in the uh, text box underneath. Or send me a message on Facebook or Twitter. It's at Luke Darico. Or slash Debs Musgrove. Or on Twitter at in seat number three. With the number not there. Uh, All the info will be on the box underneath. Uh, if you like the video, put a like. And next time we'll have a new wine and more just nonsense to talk about. <laughs>